scarlet blaze, a path forward. The Empire manages to prevail over the Kingdom and Central Church's coalition, despite the Alliance's declaration of war. But Archbishop Rhea is nowhere to be found. Edelgard and the others soon realize the Archbishop aims to use Alel's secret trails to lead a surprise attack on Garrick Mach, so the Empire regroups and moves to intervene. Dire news, my lord. Ah, what now? What's happened? Another fire? Has a horse escaped? Don't tell me it's an assassin! Where's the body? Uh, no, my lord. Worse. There's a legion of soldiers closing in on Garrett Mach. We think it's the Knights of Seros. Ah, but we're safe in here, yes? My life is of great military importance, you know. Protect me! Put those troops Her Majesty sent to use! Count Varley, the enemy is inside the monastery. We couldn't hold them back. But these walls are thick! How did they breach them? The walls yet stand, my lord. But it appears they have made use of a number of unknown secret passages. Now they are inside and wreaking havoc, and it's only a matter of time before the monastery falls. We have the numbers to stop them, but that matters little if we don't know where they actually are. We must flee, my lord. All hope is lost. Urgent news, my lord. Spare my life, I beg you! An unknown army has appeared and started attacking the Knights of Saros. Her Majesty's reinforcements! Doubtful, my lord. This army wields large-scale magic and is also attacking the Imperial forces. The battlefield is sheer chaos. It's impossible to tell friend from foe. What in the blazes is happening? Church or Empire, I care not. Eradicate them all. Engulf them in our darkness. It will be done. At last we can finally give the foolish descendants of those beasts the lesson they deserve. We will expose their filthy underground resting place and steal every last one of their essences. If we can breach it. The hole in the forest that the bandits raided was secured with a seal. Shall we deal with it after we take the monastery? And tear this disgusting rat's nest apart. Lady Rhea, who are these people? They're attacking both sides indiscriminately. A clandestine organization that wields dark magic. Could it be? Have they returned to seek vengeance on Fodlan? But why show their hand now? Deal with them, Catherine. Not a single one of them can survive. They pose a far greater threat to our world than the Empire. Yes, Lady Rhea. Make way for Thunder Catherine! Clear a path or die! And that appears to be the current situation. The Knights of Saros are one thing. We came prepared to deal with them, and we can do so. But now you say those who slither in the dark have turned this into a three-way battle? Why? I am as baffled as you regarding a possible motive. Perhaps it was vital they seized the monastery before we could get here. If they knew we were engaged in a lengthy fight at AOL, they might have seen this as their chance. Well, they saved Count Varley's life either way. So be it. We will use this situation to our advantage and conduct a rescue. We can't afford to lose Garrig Mach or Count Varley. With one battle, we'll destroy the Central Church and put an end to those who slither in the dark. 
It's strange. I stopped caring about my father a long time ago, but the thought that he might die is... It's... He is not dead yet, Bernadetta. Unless you intend to be leaving him to his fates. No. No, of course not. I'm going to save him. If we're sloppy about this, we'll get dragged into the ongoing battle and suffer heavy losses. I would prefer to make this as easy for ourselves as we can. Let's find out what's going on in there, then look for the safest way in. I can tell you one thing. If Lord Arundel is here, I will choke the life out of him personally. I'll even let you watch, Your Majesty. Yes, just try not to overdo it. If that is settled, we will accomplish nothing more by brooding down here. Agreed. We'll begin the attack as soon as our preparations are complete. I have a stratagem. Do you think this might work? I have an idea. I have a strategy. I will endeavor my hardest. Shall we? to me, but I want you to have it. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. This will help everyone. Can't wait to. This is quite. Can't let this power. Training can be the. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. carry a little of everything here. Hope to see you again soon. Hmm. Interesting. Welcome. Thanks a bunch. 
punch. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Hmm. Interesting. Nothing but the best for you. Nothing but the best for you. Thanks a bunch. Hunger is the true enemy. Solid. Oh, I love this. Thank you very much. How did you know I like this? Uh, yes, well, I admire people who show such consideration. Come back whenever you're hungry. Care to make yourself useful? I've got nothing to stop quaking. Easy for you. We all must do our care to make yourself useful. I've got nothing to... Yes. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you? Come on, Will. I don't know. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you? Oh, yeah! We'll figure something. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? I've got nothing to worry about. I don't know how you stay focused. 
Every time I think about the war and how much is left to be done, I grow so impatient for the end. Do not be discouraged. In well, that was a nice change from... Yes, it is good to feel like I've actually accomplished something from time to time. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on... Sure. Very well. We all must do our fair share here to make yourself useful. Counting on... You have not to... We can do it. We all must do our fair share. Hey, coming to a draw with the almighty king of grapplings, not a bad result. After all, you've got a disadvantage. What with our size difference and all. Okay, but don't you have the disadvantage of our age difference? Hey, I'm not that old. And I'm not that short. I've actually grown a lot in these last two years. Give me a little time and I'll be towering over you. Not sure you've got a growth spurt left in you at your age. And I'm a pretty big guy. What did you say? Oh, you want another piece? Let's go! <sighs> Didn't win. Again! <laughs> another draw! You don't know when to quit! We're not getting anywhere fighting with our fists. Yeah, you're right. I'm pretty much at my limit. So, what's next? Better make it something where we can compete on equal footing. Naturally. Well, beyond fists, there's money, there's ladies. How are you going to compete with money? All you do is complain about not having any. And ladies? That doesn't even make sense. I mean, unless you want us to dress up in ladies' clothes and compete to see who looks better. You're really not understanding this, are you? Stop! You're annoying! Also, this break gave me time to get my energy back. So put them up! It's back to fists! Better hope your body can pay the bill your mouth keeps running up. Yeah! Yeah! Ah, there you are, Ignatz. Hello, Lysithia. Do you need something? I wanted to thank you for your actions in our skirmish earlier. You blocked the enemy's approach, which allowed me to maintain my position on the battlefield. I'm very grateful. Oh, you don't need to thank me. Protecting comrades is all part of the job when you're a knight. At first, I thought knighthood would prove to be a task beyond your ability, but you've turned out to be surprisingly dependable. 
Didn't you come from a merchant family? I sure did. Then if I may, why have you chosen to become a knight instead of taking over the family business? Because I'm the second son. My older brother is going to take over the business. My father wanted me to become a knight so I could help my brother that way. It was a lot to deal with, but in the end, I'm pretty happy with how it all turned out. It's quite commendable to choose a future based on your family's wishes. Oh, it's not so impressive. Your family must have been ecstatic when you were knighted. I suppose they were. To be honest, I am envious of you. You are? I am. I haven't been able to do anything for my own mother and father yet. I hope to be as strong as you and do something equally wonderful for my parents one day. <sighs> You're very considerate of your parents, Lysithia. And I know how hard you work when you set your mind to something, so... I'm sure you can do this, too. Yes, well, if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. Hmm. Um, that is to say, I certainly will. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really should be going. The work of a knight is never done, after all. Hmm. Which battlefield are you headed to? 